the number one thing we wanted to come out of right sizing was to provide you and your family a better school. I believe we've done that. The four elementaries, the intermediate school, the middle school, and then on to the high school. We're coming out of this better than we were going into it. Thank you Burlington for all your support and thank you staff and students. I'm really excited about the opportunity to have a 7-8 building this next year. Um, it really provides an opportunity for us to focus all of our resources in one place for students and to really focus in on the content and the instruction specific for 7th and 8th graders. Um, it also provides an opportunity for teachers to be in one space to collaborate on a consistent basis and really um, continue to build that guaranteed and, and viable curriculum that we've been working on. Um, another aspect of the 7-8 uh, building that I'm excited about is the house system. The house system provides an opportunity for staff and students to really come together as a community, a community of learners that can get to know each other, build those relationships, and really make the most uh, of their time when they're here at school. Students in the houses will stay in their house for two solid years, so there's really an opportunity to, to get to know the individual learning needs of, of each and every student while they're in the houses. It also cuts down um, <clears throat> the population size, the size of, of the student body, um, from 600 students to about 160 kids in each house, um, making it a much uh, more manageable uh, amount of students for, for the kids to, to be around. Having this, this house system and having um, the intermediate school and the middle school provides us an opportunity to really manage the transitions from a self-contained elementary classroom to an intermediate school with a couple more teachers, a couple more classrooms, and then onto a middle school where we add a few more classrooms, a few more teachers, and really manage that, that transition for kiddos so it's not so, so uh, stressful and challenging for them. At the 7-8 level, we're really excited to have an opportunity to provide kids with what they need to prepare them for the high school. So when they get to the high school, they're ready to take those classes and ready to, to actually start earning college credits, in some cases, at the high school level. Our eighth graders give back to the community. Look at all these coats that they bought from the Salvation Army. We have rock star scientists and our science program rocks. Edward Stone is a fantastic school. We love Edward Stone! I love Ed Stone, it's great. My name is Mrs. Manjoin and I'm the associate principal at Edward Stone. We would love to have you and your family join us in our building. Edward Stone is a fantastic school. One of the great things about bringing both uh, Aldo and Ed Stone students together into one building as a 7-8 middle school is that we're able to bring together the sports team. So we're all going to be Greyhounds united as one team. Students will have an opportunity to start competing together um, from 7th grade on through 12th grade, which I think is going to be a real positive for our district. <laughs> Hello, my name is James Flaherty. I'm the high school choir director. I think having a 5th and 6th grade building and a 7th and 8th grade building would be great for all of our music programs. For the choir... The band... And the orchestra. Doing the 5th and 6th grade building and the 7th and 8th grade building will help all of the ensembles in those grade levels rehearse together all the time and we won't have to worry about transporting them from one side of the town to the other when we want to have those rehearsals together. Welcome to Ed Stone. <laughs>